<laughs> Puff pastry brioche. It's a compromise between the croissant dough and the brioche. And the result, it is just fantastic. First, the dough. I'm gonna mix all-purpose flour, bread flour, salt, sugar, and instant yeast. You can, of course, use fresh yeast if you have it. Then I'm gonna dump in there milk and eggs. Mix until just combined. I am using the paddle attachment for a quick mix. Puff pastry brioche dough does not need to be mixed through like the regular brioche. Indeed, gluten will rather develop during the laminating process. Wrap up in plastic wrap into a slab and let relax in a refrigerator for two hours. Then I'm gonna turn this room temperature butter into a butter slab. Roll it out between two sheets of parchment paper. Square it off, flip, and form a slab. The following laminating, tourage in French, making process is quite similar to croissant dough. So now you want to chill this. Next, folding, laminating, or tourage. Leave a butter slab out for 20 minutes or so. It should be supple but cool as the dough. Do not hesitate to freeze the dough 15 minutes on each side prior to folding. Roll out pastry twice longer than the butter slab, then place butter on the first half and close, seal and roll out into a 7 by 22 inch 18 by 56 centimeter rectangle. Fold dough into three parts, start by folding the right third over. Oops, I did the left. That's fine. Make sure that the edges are sealed and regular. Wrap up in plastic wrap and let pastry to rest in a refrigerator for 30 minutes. Repeat this step twice. So you're gonna give three single turns, three tour simple. Puff pastry brioche, brioche feuilleté, can definitely be used to make quinaman or other viennoiserie items, though I won't attempt to make croissant with it. Brioche feuilleté is indeed too delicate and fragile for that matters. So, with some leftover puff pastry, I'm gonna roll that out into a thin strip. This will strengthen the bottom of the brioche feuilleté. You could also use pie dough in both cases. Look that up on my website at brunoalbouz.com. Now, shaping. Roll out pastry into a large rectangle, cut into half, and superimpose. Seal it and cut into two portions and chill for 30 minutes to rest. Last step, roll out each portion into long strips and chill again or best freeze for 15 minutes or so before putting inside the mold. Then fold puff pastry brioche dough accordion style back and forth inside a pan. Cover and let proof for about two and a half hours. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make some pastry cream. Bring milk and vanilla to a boil and separately mix egg yolks, sugar, and starches. Temper the yolk mixture, pour back to the saucepan, bring to a boil, and cook for two minutes, whisking constantly. Let cool down, chill, and mix with poached lemons or oranges, or both, up to you. When brioche feuilleté is proofed, carefully fill up spaces with custard. Sprinkle some pearl sugar and throw in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the size. Once baked, luster the cake with simple syrup, apricot preserve, or best, the syrup from your poached lemons. Oh yeah, baby! Let cool and dot with hazelnut praliné or Nutella. Start your day with a smile on your face. I hope, guys, you have enjoyed this quite amazing brioche feuilleté episode. To get the full recipe and measurements, go to brunoalbouz.com. Please subscribe, like my page on Facebook, and by the way, try this out, take a pic, and tag me on Instagram at brunoalbouz. Enjoy! Ciao, ciao.